When playing on an SMP server, there is usually a admin or some sort of rule keeper that has made the rules. These rules usually involve um, ones that are just understood and kept by the players themselves. For example, no griefing and stuff like that. And then there are ones that are hard, co hard coded into the game itself, such as um, no PvP, which is what I'm on here about today. I've been recently been playing on this um, SMP server, but I've always had one problem with it. There's no PvP allowed, as in it's completely disabled. You can't hit anyone else with your weapons, and I find that annoying. So that is what I'm going to be telling, talking to you about today. How to PvP on a non-PvP server. Now, there are of course the usual ways things that people do in actual normal PvP, such as lighting things on fire with a flint and steel, and whatever. But here's the kicker. On the PvP server, that, on the um, SMP server that I'm on, lava damage and fire damage has been disabled in the overworld. Yeah, I know, ridiculous. So you have to be a bit more creative, which is what I'm going to get into today. Now, um, one, I found a couple of different ways that you can um, cause damage to other players. One of them is with the wolf pet. Now, by using a tamed wolf, if you can get them to somehow attack the wolf, then the wolf will start attacking them as well as any other wolves that you have, which can very quickly deplete their health. But the problem is, it's hard to get them to attack it. So I don't really see it as a viable option. Plus, wolves are kind of um, ugly. Yeah, I'm not a dog person, I'm a cat person, see me. The next methods I'm going to tell you about are slightly more expensive to use, but they can still cause damage. In fact, even more so than, than the wolf pet could, and it's much easier to use. For example, TNT. Just place some TNT down, light it up, and boom! Instant lot of damage. Then of course there is the instant damage potion, which is super useful and if you wanted to have proper PvP, I would definitely recommend it because it's super useful, take uses a lot of damage, and if you have a proper farm set up, it's not actually too expensive. Now the um, last two methods are the most expensive, or at least the hardest to you to use and to get. It's first of all, there's Crystal PvP. Now if you haven't heard of Crystal PvP before, I don't blame you. It's only really used in a couple of different servers. For example, 2B2T has a huge culture of using Crystal PvP rather than regular PvP. So what it basically involves is putting Crystal down and quickly punching it, which causes an explosion even more powerful than TNT. And by quickly, the reason people like it a lot is that if you have obsidian set down already, you can quickly put down and punch, causing massive explosions with several every second if you're fast enough. The last method is actually my favorite method. It involves wither roses. My favorite method is because um, you, no one would think that gardening would be a viable option for PvP. But if you're careful and you use it carefully, then you can um, cause quite a lot of damage with them. If you are running around from someone, just by having them... Um... Oh, hold on. Why is the river rose working? How weird. Alright, well then I'll show you how it's meant to work. If you step into the... Um... Maybe it's, uh, it's probably because my, it's not on normal. Yeah, if you put it on like that, it can quickly cause quite a bit of damage. And it gives you the withering effect as well. Just by having it over there for a few seconds, your health quickly drains and you can die pretty quickly. So um, that's basically all the um, PvP bypasses that I can think of. But do be warned, if you try and do this on some servers, to troll people, or even just for casual PvP, 
you could be banned because um, they don't might not like it. However, if you ask your admin beforehand if that type of PvP, when agreed upon by both parties, is okay, then you should be fine. So, um, thank you for watching, and um, hopefully you don't use these methods to get into trouble. Bye.